good evening and welcome to the Orange County School Board's annual reorganization meeting. Bishop Kevin Cabarrus of the Impact Church of Orlando will come forward and deliver the invocation. I'm asking that you remain standing after the invocation for the Pledge of Allegiance. Gracious God, each of us in our own way from our own traditions would invoke your presence with us here tonight as we gather on this simonious occasion. In your wisdom, loving God, you have set us within families. You have gathered families into communities and communities that combine to make us a strong nation. We are thankful for the people of the community of Orange County. And we are grateful to these individuals who have come forward to serve in elected positions on their behalf. I pray your blessings upon all of the incoming school board members, those that are returning, and all the superintendent and the administrative staff, administrators and faculty that will be working with this board. We pray, God, that you would continue to guide them, that you would grace them, that you would give them the wisdom that they need to make the decisions for the better good of our students and for the Orange County Public Schools governance. We pray your blessings upon this particular ceremony tonight, and we pray blessings upon the families that are gathered here as their loved ones take the oath of office. And I pray that you will continue to unite us, to continue to make us one, continue to allow us to work together to build a great community and continue to build a great school district. And we pray now and ask all these blessings in your name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop Kevin Cabarrus of the Impact Church. And now, the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. I would like to take this moment to present to you our dynamic superintendent, <laughs> Dr. Barbara Jenkins, adventuring <laughs> on a new journey with a new board, Dr. Jenkins. Thank you, Madam Chair. I wanted to only say a couple of comments here. I've said them to all of the individuals, but I wanted to say it publicly as well. We are extremely excited about this next phase of our journey here in Orange County Public Schools. This is my eighth year as superintendent, and I will tell you from all that we've accomplished, there is so much more to be done. My staff knows I love the term from Robert Frost, we have miles to go <laughs> before we sleep. And so I'm excited about these committed board members that are joining three former board members, and extremely pleased, people push me up to say this, so I guess I will. Um, we call it Girl Power. It is the first time there's been an all-female school board. <laughs> so they put me up to say that. Yes, um, we did. <laughs> Woody, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> So Woody is not on the school board, he no. is a general counsel to the board. I am the superintendent. In case you didn't know, out of since 1869, out of um, 19 individuals who have been at the helm for Orange County Public Schools, I am actually the first female. And so when we say girl power, we mean it pretty seriously, Ms. Gordon. Oh, yes. <laughs> Secondly, I wanted to um, thank all of those who put their names on a ballot and take the abuse and the rigor and the exhaustion of running for office um, that they would actually consider being on the school board. I want to publicly thank those individuals. There's another group that I'd like to thank as well, though, and we often forget. Uh, we said it when we had outgoing board members. The families of our elected school board members make quite a sacrifice as well. And so before all of the pomp and circumstance starts, I'd like for family members of board members to stand so we can thank you for your sacrifice as well. <laughs> so 
so we understand um, sometimes uh, two mm -hmm. nights a week and weekends and different activities really mean a sacrifice for family time and for especially those who have children at home as well. But spouses, um, anyone who's in an extended family category, all of them make a sacrifice so that you may serve. So my personal congratulations. Uh, first of all, my commendation for returning board member Ms. Kat Gordon and Pam Gould for returning re-elected board member Linda Cobert and then for those coming on for the first time, Melissa Bird, Karen Castor Dental, Johanna Lopez, Angie Gallo, and our new chair, Teresa Jacobs. All of them now hold the title The Honorable. Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Superintendent. Let's give our superintendent an awesome round of applause. And we thank you for your great leadership, not only in Orange County and not only in the state of Florida, but we thank you for your leadership in the nation. We really appreciate that. Next, we have the Honorable Judge Frederick Lawton, Chief Judge of the Ninth Judicial Court, and it's the Ninth Judicial Circuit Court. I'm going to ask the Chief Judge if he would come forward at this time, and you will be administering the oath of office you will do it in the order of the chairman first, which is Teresa Jacobs, Angie Gallo, Joanna Lopez, Linda Colbert, Karen Casta Dental, and Melissa Burt. Judge, they're all in your hands right now. If you will raise your right hand and repeat after me, I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear that I will protect and defend the Constitution and Government of the United States. The Constitution and Government of the United States. And of the State of Florida. And of the State of Florida. That I am duly qualified. That I am duly qualified. To hold office. To hold office. Under the Constitution of the State. Under the Constitution of the State. And perform the duties. And perform the duties. Of member. Of member. Of the School Board of Orange County, Florida. Of the School Board of Orange County, Florida. Congratulations. Thank you. There we go. And now the Honorable Teresa Jacobs will take her seat. Angie Gallo, our next board recipient. Congratulations. All right, are you all set? If you'll raise your right hand, place your hand on the Bible and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. Solemnly swear that I will protect and defend that I will protect and defend the Constitution and government of the United States the Constitution and government government of the United States and of the state of Florida and of the state of Florida that I am duly qualified that I am duly qualified to hold office to hold office under the Constitution of the state under the Constitution of the state and perform the duties and perform the duties of member of member of the school board of Orange County Florida Our next school board member, Joanna Lopez. I'm going to turn you sort of this way so everybody can see you. They don't need to see me, I've decided. They need to see you. <laughs> if you raise your right hand and repeat after me, I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear that I will protect and defend the Constitution of the United States and of the State of Florida that I am duly qualified to hold office under the Constitution of the State and perform the duties of member, of member of the School Board of Orange County, Florida. Of the School Board of Orange County, Florida. Congratulations. And to our school board member that had been reelected for four years, Linda Colbert.
I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear that I will protect and defend. That I will protect and defend the Constitution and government of the United States. The Constitution and government of the United States and of the state of Florida. And of the state of Florida that I am duly qualified. That I am duly qualified to hold office. To hold office under the Constitution of the state. Under the Constitution of the state and to perform the duties. And to perform the duties of member. Of member of the school board of Orange County, Florida. Of the school board of Orange County, Florida. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations. And as Linda Culver takes her seat, our next board member, Karen Casta Dental. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear that I will defend the Constitution and government of the United States and of the state of Florida that I am duly qualified to hold office under the Constitution of the state and to perform the duties of, and to perform the duties of member, member of the School Board of Orange County, Florida Congratulations. <laughs> and now we're asking Melissa Bird, will you come forward? I do solemnly swear that I will protect and defend the Constitution and government of the United States and of the state of Florida that I am duly qualified to hold office under the Constitution of the state and perform the duties of member of the School Board of Orange County, Florida. Madam Chairman, Teresa Jacobs, the Honorable Judge Frederick Lawton, Chief Judge of the Ninth Judicial Circuit Courts, have installed, duly installed, all of your members as a working school board for Orange County, Florida. Take the chair. Thank you. Thank you. We are honored to be joined by so many esteemed members of the public that are here today. I could not be more proud of serving alongside of the board members we have. Um, what a phenomenal group of individuals. And I would say women, but, but you're not just a phenomenal woman. In, a phenomenal group of leaders in this community. The wealth of experience that this board is going to bring, the diversity of opinions and experience that this board is going to bring, is going to make us better, crisper, sharper, and more attentive to the needs of our children and the needs of our entire school district. I couldn't be more proud of the work that the school district has done under the leadership of Dr. Jenkins and the leadership of the previous board, taking us to heights that I don't think I could have imagined myself when my children were in school in 2000, with the graduate rate of 50 percent so we have uh, come a very long way in a very short period of time but there's so much more to do there's so much more to do but we know that the only way we can do it is when we do it as a community it doesn't matter how good your leadership is on this board if this whole community is not involved engaged in advocating for our children and for our education system we will not succeed so that's why I'm especially proud to see so many of you here today. There are so many elected officials, and I am going to get in trouble if I try to start calling them out. So if I could ask that um, if you're elected official, I know I saw Senator Torres, I saw, if you all would just stand, and if you're already standing, um, raise your hand. Yeah.
thank you as well for, for your support of our public education system. We're going to be calling on you. Um, between our teachers and our PTSAs and our unions, we are going to be calling all, on all of you. There's lots of things that we can spend time disagreeing about, but we really simply can't afford to spend time disagreeing. We've got to find those things that we can agree on, and we've got to get to work. Because every day that we're not working hard for our children and making this the best education system in the nation is a day lost in a child's life. And that's inexcusable. So the goal, my goal is to work together with you, to work together with this board, with our superintendent, with every single one of you who cares about our kids and cares about education to make this a model for the nation. With that said, I'm thrilled and honored to be able to introduce Angie Gallo. Member Gallo, comments, please. Am I on? Oh, hello. As you can see, there's a little bit of a learning curve going on up here. Okay. Um, you know, I just want to say I'm very blessed and I'm very honored uh, to be the new school board member for District 1. I, I've had the opportunity of go attending a couple schools with Joey Cato, and I, I keep saying that I feel like the luckiest girl in the world, and I really, really do. Um, I've been blessed. I've been blessed with a great family. This started for me way back um, in elementary school when my oldest started school and I decided, me and my best friend Kellyanne decided that we wanted to get involved in the elementary school. And for those of you who are involved in PTA, you know it goes something like this. You show up and then you kind of get voluntold what to do. <laughs> well, Kellyanne and I got voluntold to be corresponding secretaries by Sylvia Boyd, who was an awesome principal at Riverdale Elementary. And that's where it all began for me. Um, from there, I got hooked on advocacy and PTA. Many may not realize that the PTA is an association born on advocacy. It's how we got our start, um, was for the children, for labor laws, for, for, for doing better for our children. And that's really kind of what sucked me into the PTA and has kept me there all these years, is the advocacy for children. And I'll never forget way back when, when Speaker Cannon was serving his first term in the legislature, going to a legislative breakfast at Glen Ridge Middle School. And I sat there, and one of my mentors, Don Stewart, was up at the podium. And she was talking about this bill and that bill, and, and I was listening to her in awe, and I thought, I, you know, I thought it was a foreign language. I didn't know what she was really saying. But I knew it was important, and she told us that we had to get involved, that as parents, that as advocates, that we could do better for our children. We could make public education better for the teachers and the students. And I remember looking up at her and go, oh, when I grow up, I want to be just like her. Um, I'm happy to say that she's in the audience today, and I absolutely adore her. <laughs> she's waving back there. Um, I didn't get here alone. You know, I was raised on the belief where much is given, much is expected. And that came, that came from my mom. And my mom always pushed me to be the best that I could be and to try harder. And when I didn't try hard enough or do everything that I could be, she got mad at me. Um, and I never understood it back then. I'm like, wait a minute, I just didn't make the dance team. I, you know, you should feel sorry for me. And she's like, no, you get back up and you just keep trying because eventually you'll get to be where you want to be. So mom, thank you. Um, campaigning is not a spectator sport. It, you, you're all in. And my family was all in. My family, my friends were all in from the very beginning. So I just want to take a few minutes to thank those. My husband, who's been my rock. Um, I spent a lot of time in Tallahassee. I spent a lot of time at elementary schools and middle schools and high schools, you know, putting together dances, fundraisers, doing what I could for the kids here in, in Orlando. And he always had my back. And he always knew that what I wanted to do was very important to me, even though he had to make sacrifices. He's working long jobs and he, or long days at his job, and he'd come home and take care of the kids so that I could go advocate for all your children. And without him and without the blessings that God's given me, that wouldn't have happened. So thank you. Um, my dad and my grandma, well, it was, I call her Grandma Ann because that's what my kids call her, but she's my stepmom. <laughs> so my stepmom, Ann, uh, my stepdad, Don, my brother, Mark, uh, his beautiful wife, Linda, they were all in. They campaigned for me. They came to events. They put out signs for me. They waved signs for me. They called all their friends. They implored everybody to vote for me. Um, to my friend, Kellyanne and Rebecca, and Rob, and Danielle, and Lori, your guidance and your support, I can't tell you how much it meant to me. And to all the teachers that supported me and called your friends and said, you've got to vote for her. Please vote for her. Um, no, it means a lot to me. And for everybody that supported me, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm thrilled 
to deaf to be here. I look so forward to working with these great group of ladies. Um, this is my heart and to my PTA family, I say thank you. It all started with you. So thank you for giving me the background and the courage to do this. So thank you. <laughs> Member Joanna Lopez. Good evening, everyone. Buenas noches. It is my honor to be here sharing with this space with all of you. Thank you for being here. I want to use this opportunity to thank those who made it possible for me to be here. First, I am so proud of the hard and professional work of the students who design and run my campaign have done. Thank you for staying with me until the end of the historical path and for sharing my vision of fighting for fairness empowerment and unity for our community. I have to move the flowers. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> it's me. Most importantly, thank you for believing in me. My commitment to you and to every OCPS student is that as I begin my role as an Orange County School Board member, I will continue to be a fearless advocate for student empowerment and academic success. To the Orange County teachers and staff members, thank you for your feedback and for helping our People Power student-led campaign. As a fellow teacher, I know firsthand about your struggles and challenges inside and outside of the classroom. Please know that I am here for you. Thank you to the many parents who have shared their concerns and ideas on how to improve our local school system. I'm committed to continue to listen to you at all times, making sure every family gets the representation they deserve. I am here for you. To my District 2 constituents, I am extremely humble by your support. Your voice is my voice, and I will make sure that every corner of our district is represented. I will not let you down. I am here for you. To my four children, Esteban, Gio, Alondra, and Gianna. Thank you for being alongside me in this journey. This past year, we came to understand that on the road to achieve our goals, we come up against obstacles and tests that make us stronger. In order to overcome them, we have to always persevere and stay focused. We are never alone, as God will always look over us like he has. I love you deeply, and I cannot imagine my life without you. To the bus drivers and all those involved in our transportation services, I am here for you. To the clerks, to the janitors and the cafeteria staff, I am here for you. To the administrators, to the counselors and the media specialists, I am here for you too. Esta nueva generación de líderes nos ha demostrado que en la unión está la fuerza. Los exhorto a dejar atrás las diferencias y enfocarnos en construir un mejor futuro para nuestros jóvenes, nuestras familias y nuestras comunidades. Juntos podemos seguir haciendo historia. We have an incredible opportunity to work together to create a brighter future for Orange County understanding that every community deserves attention, every family deserves representation, and every student deserves an opportunity to be successful. Together, we can continue opening doors. Gracias y si se puede. Thank you. Covert. Thank you, Chair. No matter how many times you do this, this is the moment when everything goes out of your head. But I want you to know, just based on the first two, this is why I've been telling everyone we are going to be just fine. We have an excellent, outstanding new board that I am proud to serve alongside of. 
I want you to know that when we have our moment of silence at the beginning of every meeting, I want you to know the prayer that I always say every week, and that is, may the words of my mouth and the thoughts of my mind be pleasing to you. And that is what helps to guide me as we take on this great chat task and challenge of our over 200,000 children that we serve and 24,000 employees that we, are, we have in our care. I want to take this moment to thank the outgoing board members who have been tremendous mentors to me. I want to thank my family who is taking up a whole row here, <laughs> who I would not be here without. My sisters are here, my daughter is here, my mother is here, my niece is here, and my two of my closest, dearest friends are here, who really, without you, I would not be sitting in this chair. And most importantly, I do want to thank my husband, who is my rock and has been my partner and my biggest cheerleader and truly is the one who talked me into doing this. When thinking about a campaign, it's daunting putting yourself out there in a public way and taking on the responsibility of all of these children and all of these employees. And my husband said to me, Linda, you have never let fear be the reason not to do good in the world. And that is a true story. I had no answer for that. And that's what got me into this. So I am proud to serve alongside this esteemed group of women. I am proud and honored to serve the children of Orange County. And I am proud to have the service of our 24,000 employees and really every decision that I make, those are the only two groups that I consider. What is best for our children, what is best for our employees, and that's how I'll continue to serve. Thank you. Member, Karen Kestrin. You have to push it hard, and red <laughs> means talk, and green doesn't exist. <laughs> That's red. That's I red. can see it now. <laughs> All right, well, um, I want to thank um, so many of my uh, friends and family for coming here today. Um, start with uh, my role model is uh, my mother. Um, <laughs> And if I didn't mention my, my, my role model, my mother, um, Kat Gordon was gonna do it for me. <laughs> so um, my mother, Betty Castor, uh, was the commissioner of education um, during a, a critical time um, in my decision of what I wanted to do in life. And I always liked um, children and, and she kind of steered me in the path, well, you know, I, You'd be a great teacher. Um, she was a teacher, so she saw that in me too. So um, it was uh, it was critical that um, the role she played in my development, and then she encouraged me to continue. And so um, uh, I don't think she knows the impact she's had, but I'm here today because she showed me how to use her voice um, to uh, speak on behalf of teachers and students and do what I can to make the world better. Uh, I also want to thank my stepdad, Sam Bell, who's done so much for children uh, in the state, in the legislature. Um, and then my sister, Kathy, is here. Uh, there she is. And my, my brother, Frank, is here as well, and his wife, Rita. Uh, I want to thank um, Mark Pafford for all the support he's given me as well. Um, and I also have other family members. Uh, my stepmother, Mickey Castor, is here from Tampa. And uh, my former in-laws, uh, Bob and Betty Kimbrell and Bill and Pat Dunnell are also here. And that means a lot to me that you all are here. But there's two people that I didn't mention yet um, who kind of make, it, uh, make this job so important to me. And those are my two kids who teach me everything I need to know about being a teenager. Um, They'll, I still don't know enough, I'm sure, but Wyatt and Caroline are um, high schoolers, and um, I kind of process everything I, I say and do through how is it going to affect them, uh, whether it's at home or at school, so um, you guys are very important to me. 
Uh, I also want to thank my um, my friends and supporters, people who really uh, helped me get here, and also to so many teachers. Um, having been a teacher for 15 years and uh, teaching here in Orange County Public Schools, um, it means a lot to be sitting up here today. Um, and I'm going to take it very seriously and try to maintain that perspective of a teacher and a parent while I'm up here and making those decisions. And I look forward to getting started. Thank you. Member Melissa Bird. Um, first of all, I want to thank all of my family and friends who made it out to here tonight. Um, you know, it like it's been said, it takes a lot of sacrifice from the people that you love and that care about you to run for office. So everybody in that row sacrificed <laughs> a little bit, whether it was, you know, waving signs or just... Um, supporting me along the way you know um, my sweet children Abigail and Madeline are in there uh, sitting there too um, they had to <laughs> sacrifice quite a lot for a year of running for office lots of Saturdays knocking on doors and um, so I'm truly thankful for them for always believing in their mom and standing by me and um, and when things got tough and you know we needed a little encouraging we would talk about our why why we were doing this we were doing it for the children for the children of orange county and to make um to get on this board and and have a voice for those children so um so i'm just so thankful for them and my sweet husband who's sitting back there um <laughs> he got me through got me through and um you know the support that he gave me was unwavering and um when things got tough he he always talked me through it and um so i'm definitely here because of him um <clears throat> now i'm just so excited that i have the pleasure and honor of sitting up here and serving with these other fierce women look at this group of women it's amazing um you know, my husband and I said from the very beginning of this whole thing that um, if it was God's will for me to serve on this board, that it would happen, that we would just follow his lead. And as I'm sitting up here tonight, it occurs to me that I was just one little part of his plan. This is, this is a great group. It's going to be fantastic. What an um, exciting time this is for Orange County Public Schools. I'm so proud to be a part of it, and I'm honored to um, be able to serve on this board and serve the children and the families and the schools and the communities in Orange County. Thank you so much. And before we move on to the business portion of our meeting, I want to take just a minute to, again to thank each and every one of you that's here that has played a part in the elections of, of each of us, those of you who are here just because you care about our kids. I want to mention my husband, Bruce, who um, most of you who have known me very long have gotten to know my husband, and my daughter, Lisa, when we talk about role models, you don't get to talk to me very long before you're hearing about my daughter and my three boys and the role models that they have played in my life. My good friend, Stina Duva, who's put up with every campaign I've, I've been in and has always been there for me. Um, but I also want to recognize that in the second row, I filled up the second row with my, my former work family. Always will be my family, but it's amazing the number of people it takes um, to make things happen. And when you have good teams and good teamwork, you can do just about anything. I've had the privilege and honor of serving with some incredible people, and I'm looking forward to this privilege and honor of serving with this team of incredible people, including Eric. Eric, good to have you with us. We've brought some people with us from Orange County uh, Board of County Commissioners Chambers um, that I hope will become regulars here, Eric Brown and Trini and others. So um, thank you for staying with us, and thank you for continuing to support our children. And with that, we're going to get down to business. Thank you. Okay, um, our first order of business is to open the floor for nominations for vice chair. Thank you. I need a tutorial <laughs> on this. Ms. <laughs> Member Gould. We'll talk you through. Um, 
It, it, it would be uh, my honor to nominate Kat Gordon um, as the vice chair for this new board. Uh, Kat ha is certainly brought the wisdom, um, not only when she first started, but, but has the experience of multiple terms and um, has great insights, and I think she would be an asset is, is in that role as our leader. We, do we have a second? Ms. Member Colbert. Thank you, Chair. I believe with so much newness, we need some institutional wisdom. Many times throughout the past four years, Member Gordon is the one who remembers why we are where we are and how we got here. And I think that wisdom would benefit all of us. So I'd like to second your nomination, Ms. Gould. All right, any further nominations for vice chair? Seeing none, I'll close the floor for nominations. All in favor of Kat Gordon to serve as our vice chair, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. <laughs> All right. The next um, item of business is establishment of dates and times for the new school board meetings. I'd like to announce that the board has to establish dates and times for 2018-19 school board meetings and the modifications to the calendar are as follows. One meeting will be held in December, uh, only one meeting due to the winter break. One meeting will be held in March of 2019 due to the spring break and only one meeting will be held in July 2019 due to summer vacations. I would ask for a motion to approve the establishment of the dates and meeting times for 2018-19 school board meeting. Is there a motion? Motion and a second. All in favor please say aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> motion carries unanimously. And now um, I'd like to request approval of officers to the leasing corporation. The, I am recessing the regular meeting of the Orange County School Board and calling to order the meeting of the Orange County School Board Leasing Corporation. The first action item is requesting approval of the minutes of the Orange County School Board Leasing Corporation dated December 11, 2017. Is, is there a motion? Motion, is there a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor of the motion, please say aye. Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Next item is the election of officers for the leasing corporation. The recommended slate of officers is attached to the agenda item. We need a motion to accept the recommended slate of officers or a motion for an alternative slate of officers. Is there a motion? Um, we have a motion to move the recommended slate. Is there a second? second? Motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. With no further business to address, I'm adjourning the, the meeting of the Orange County School Board Leasing Corporation and reconvening the regular meeting of the Orange County School Board. Next, you will. I'm sorry. Um, next, we're going to hear from Pam, Pam Gould. Is that correct? As chair of communications. Uh, thank you, chairman. And that's the hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as chair, uh, yes, the following members, it's and you are the chairman going, of the, yes, yes, thank you. Is going through those, those two, the leasing corporation and, and our regular school board, that's, that's the hardest transition. Um, the communications committee will reconvene, and I know that we have some new members coming on board, which is fantastic. We really want to be able to focus on um, sharing the message of what works, but also hearing from those in the community on recommendations on what we can we can improve on and who we can partner with so we look forward to and i'd like to ask that uh, member lopez if you would agree to serve as well on the communications committee yes. wonderful thank you um for the legislative committee miss gallo member gallo would you be willing to serve as chair i would love to serve as chair. awesome wonderful and member Cobert, would you agree to serve on that committee as well Wonderful. And with regard to the budget, <sighs> Member Castor Daniel, would you agree to serve as chair of the budget committee? I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that enthusiasm. <laughs> as one person who actually does like budgets, you may be one of one of the only two up here on the board that does that. And Miss Gordon, yes, as the seasoned member, would you agree to serve with Miss Castor Daniel? I would consider it. Wonderful. Thank you. 
All right, next I need to call on Mr. Rodriguez who will announce an upcoming executive session. Madam Chair, members of the board, <clears throat> pursuant to section 286.011, subsection 8 of Florida statutes, the School Board of Orange County, Florida will meet in an executive session to discuss Jane Doe number 68 and Mother Doe versus the School Board of Orange County, U.S. Middle District Court of Florida, case number 617-1135, on Tuesday, December 11th, 2018, so it's not today. Uh, immediately following the regularly scheduled board meeting scheduled to start at 5.30 in the superintendent's conference room, ninth floor, at this Ronald Blocker Education Leadership Center, uh, located at this address, 445 West Amelia Street. The following persons may be in attendance, all school board members, Dr. Barbara Jenkins is superintendent, myself as general counsel, Mr. John Palmarini is associate general counsel, Mr. William Lawton is uh, Esquire, and Gail C. Bradford Esquire, as well as our court reporter. Thank you. Thank you. And before we call for the benediction, I wanted to ask that if all members that are present that are either teachers or principals or, in, or are serving our children in some capacity in Orange County Public Schools, if you would rise to be recognized. Is there anybody in the audience who um, formerly held that position and is no longer serving our children, has retired? Someone like, uh, perhaps, thank you. And, retired. and you're retired. And Miss Riley. Thank you. And let me mention, we are, we are honored to be joined by Rosita Riley, who was not just area superintendent, but um, was my children's elementary school principal. an incredible mentor and we're thrilled and honored that each one of you that is serving our children day in and day out is here with us today. We look forward to working together to serve you as you serve them. Thank you. With that, we're going to call on Pastor Manny Rosario of the Calvary Orlando to come forward and deliver the benediction. Let us pray. For every ending, there's a beginning. For every memory, there's a dream ahead. As we conclude this afternoon, may we forever be in awe of all that had to happen in our lives to be here right now. May we walk the walk of compassion and bring compassion to the center of our lives. May we live a purpose bigger than ourselves, understanding that when we do, you and I will begin to transcend our limitations and discover ourselves to be far greater than we have ever imagined. May we be vigilant such that in our toil and labor of service, our hearts don't become hardened, our eyes don't become blind, that we don't forget where we came from or neglect those we are meant to serve. May we realize that change doesn't happen magically, that everything worthy requires effort and sacrifice, that in order to accomplish things, we've never accomplished, to become people we've never been, we must make sacrifices we've never made and do things we've never done. So today, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you, the Lord turn his face toward you and may he give you peace. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Dr. Jenkins, anything further to come before this board? All right, this meeting is now adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>